Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am continuing my declutter series and I'm going through all of my face powders, both loose and pressed. I definitely have way too many powders. There's no way I could use up all of these and the majority of these are just sitting in my drawer. They're not even being used at all. Some of them I haven't even used at all and I just need to pass them along to someone who is actually going to use them and love them. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's go ahead and start with all of my loose powders. First, I have the Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is actually um, an empty bottle. I actually went through the entirety of it, except for just a little bit on the bottom right there. And what I do is I did buy the tiny version of this first. So I've been putting what um, I had left in this bigger container into the smaller one just to make it easier to use and less clunky so I'm gonna go ahead and just put the rest of what's in here inside the tiny one and hold on to it this is the best powder I have ever used it is very expensive so I would recommend either getting a sample of it first or getting like this tiny one which was about $20 and you get a little like face poof that comes with it as well if you buy the big version um, you don't get the face poof with it so I would recommend getting the tiny one because that face poof is actually really um, useful I only use this on my under eyes and on my eyelids my eyelids are the oiliest part of my face I have hooded lids so I find when I send when I send when I set my um, eye primer with this it my eyeshadow does not budge at all throughout the day same thing with the concealer under my eyes. Now, I use this a lot more in um, fall and spring because if I use this on my under eyes now in the winter or in the middle of the summer, it tends to look a little dry. So I wouldn't really recommend this for people with dry skin. But for me, a combo, more oily-ish, this works amazing. So I'm going to hold on to these. Next, I have the Kat Von D Locket in the shade Peach. This is the complete wrong shade for me. I tried out the powder a couple of times and it just looked really dry, um, not even considering the color. The formula just didn't work well on my skin, so I'm going to go ahead and pass this one along. Next, I have a little Tarte powder. It is the Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. I believe I got this in like a 500 point perk from Sephora. This powder, it is bright white. So white. It leaves a horrible white cast. It doesn't really set anything down. I absolutely hated this powder, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. Next, I have the Cover Effects Light Matte Setting Powder. I got this in a little set. It came with um, a like a matte primer and then a finishing spray and then this powder. I've used up the other two products and I really enjoyed them. This product, I thought it was just okay. Um, I've used better powders. I've used worse powders. Um, so I'll just go ahead and hold on to it and see if I reach for it in the next couple of weeks. And if I don't, by my next declutter, this will probably be gone. So I have three of these Flower Beauty powders, which that's way too, way too much powder, way too much powder. So I have two of the Translucent, which it's, it's an okay powder. For one of the Translucents, I actually mixed in the other powder that I have in, well, they don't even have the shade on here, but I think it is the lightest shade and... It was a little too dark for my face still, so I mixed in the translucent with the lightest powder and I made kind of just like, and I mix it together to make this light powder. I'm not a huge fan of this. I find that it leaves just a horrible white cast, even when I'm using just the regular powder, and the, the tone is just off and you can tell that there's a powder on my face. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter all three of the, ooh, all three of the powders. Next up, I have the Urban Decay Velvetizer Powder. Now, this is an amazing powder. I'm actually more than halfway through it. I, I hate the pack. I hate this packaging so much. It looks so gross and grimy. Same thing with the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. They just get so dirty. But the product itself is amazing. I don't really mix it into um, foundations as much as I used to just because it's winter and it's so dry during the fall and the spring. I love to mix this in. So I'm going to hold on to this. When I'm not mixing it into foundations, I just use it to set my under eyes and it looks beautiful. So I'm going to hold on to this one. And last but not least, I have the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 10 Fair Light. 
This powder really surprised me. I wasn't expecting a whole lot. I thought it was going to be a lot like the Flower Beauty powder, um, but this one, it's a perfect shade. The little shit, the shifter. Ho ho ho. The sifter in here is perfect. It doesn't let out too much product. You do get a good amount of powder in here and it's only right around $10. This has actually been sitting in my everyday makeup pile and I have been using it every day since I got it. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to this one. Next, I'm going to move on to my pressed powders. First, I have these two from Physicians Formula. They are the Youthful Wear Youth Boosting Powder. I have the shade Beige, and then I also have the shade Translucent. Beige was way too dark for me. That is, it's very, very warm, very dark. Even in the summer, this was too dark for me. I was mostly holding on to this to use as a mirror in my travel makeup case. I'm not 100% sure why I still have it. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. Now for the one that is actually um, usable in the shade, this is translucent. Translucent? That is hard to say. The only issue I have with this is that it actually has like a spray over of like glitter. Once you get past that layer and you kind of work around it, it is a beautiful powder. I just wouldn't use too much of it because it is very glowy, very um, it makes your skin look very dewy, but you can definitely overdo it and you can look like a glittery hot mess. So I will hold on to this one to try it out a few more times because I do enjoy the formula. Next one, it's very surprising to me. I have the IT Cosmetic Celebration Foundation Illumination. Everyone and their mother absolutely adores this powder. And honestly, I don't like it. It's... The shade is just okay. That's the closest match that I have to me and it's not a great match. Honestly, it just makes me look dry and cakey, and I was on the fence about just decluttering it because it was so much money. It was like $30, and I didn't really want to just throw it out, um, but at this point, honestly, I'm just going to cut it as a loss. I don't like it. I'm not going to force myself to use it just because I don't like it, and it makes my skin look horrible. So I'm going to go ahead and see if one of my friends would like to take this, if they're similar to my skin color. If not, I'm going to see if I can sanitize it and donate it. Next, I have a product that I keep thinking I'm going to use and then I use never. <laughs> it's the NYX HD Finishing Powder in Banana. Now, yellow powders really don't work for me. I'm already warm toned. I already have very strong yellow undertones as it is and just putting banana powder on my face, it never, it never looks good. And I don't know why I keep thinking that it'll work. I know why. I see everyone on YouTube doing it and I always think, oh, it looks so great on them, I should try it. It never works. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop thinking along those lines and just get rid of this powder. Next, I have the Rimmel Stay Matte in the shade 04 Sandstorm. I actually really love this powder. I haven't used it in a while, um, but I used to use it every day during the summer. It kept me so matte, the color was nice, it doesn't look cakey, it sits on the skin so well. So I really need to pull this out of my drawer and back into my everyday makeup drawer because it is a great powder and it was only a couple of dollars from CVS and they always have coupons. So this one is a great value. Last, I have two Hourglass products, one mini, one full size. The mini product is the Ambient Lighting Powder in Luminous Light. It is too dark for me. It's too dark to use on my face. It's too dark to use as a highlight. I got this just to try out like the Hourglass formula because I had never tried Hourglass before this and realized it's just, it's not my color. Um, it is a beautiful powder though. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this one along to a friend who can actually use this color more than I can. For the one full size Hourglass product that I have, it is the Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffused Light. Now I have been using this every day since I bought it. It is a beautiful powder. It just leaves just the most beautiful just glow to the face. It is it is like the perfect setting powder. I use it under my eyes. I use it all over my face. It is beautiful. It used to have like a little, you can't really see it on camera, but it used to have like a bump here, like where the product was, and I've already worn through this. It is absolutely stunning. I would highly recommend trying one. If not, trying like the little tiny one first just to see if you like it. And also just make sure you swatch them so that you get the right shade. I first bought the wrong shade. I bought a full size and I think it was dim light and it was way too dark for me. So I returned it and I got the right shade and now I'm using it 
constantly. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to this one. All right, so here are the final results. Everything on the right is what I'm decluttering. Everything in the little tin is what I am keeping. I am keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight powders, and I am decluttering one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I am so happy with that. I've definitely needed to clean this out a long time ago, but that is more than 50%. I am over the moon happy. So thank you so much for watching my video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you like these declutters, and I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye!